Welcome back everyone. We're going to continue my series on BL Heli 32 settings. This time we're going to tackle sign modulation mode. Um, I built a dyno. I've got some Brother Hobby 2205 motors at 2700 kV and a 3S and a 4S battery. And we're going to test to see what this does because this is relatively new to BL Heli. Um, I thought it didn't do nothing, kind of found that it does do something. So let's start with the instructions though. Sign modulation mode can be a few percent more efficient running as well as smoother running. It is a pretty subtle effect. Power is modulated with a sine shape following the top of a sine wave through the computation cycle so that the power when computating shall be ideal for a motor with sine shaped BMF. Power is varied between sine 60 degrees when computating to sine 90 in the middle of the computation cycle and then down again to sine 120 degrees at the end of the computation cycle. Maximum power is still the same for sine mode as for regular mode as when approaching full power. The ESC will transition smoothly into regular mode. Varying power can only be done by varying PWM, so a high PWM frequency is preferable for accurate sign mode operation. Still, even with 48 kilohertz, the maximum we can do, PWM frequency, a reasonable accuracy of the sign modulation can only be achieved up to some 100k ERPM. At higher ERPMs, the motor still runs fine, but the quality of the sign modulation is degraded. Due to the increased MCBU processing for sign mode, max ERPMs is lower for sign mode than for regular mode. Still, it will generally be more than 300k ERPM, even for sign mode. Okay, well, there were some interesting things there. Uh, supposedly more efficient and smoother running and maximum power is not affected uh, well I can agree that as far as ramp up power it's not affected smoother running when I originally started playing with this mode I thought it was way smoother running but since then I don't think it's as smooth one well, sorry not that I don't think it's as smooth I don't think that there is much noticeable in smoothness uh, as for the graphs, the graphs are really uh, complicated, really. Well, not complicated. Uh, I couldn't really tell anything different from the power up, so I've just removed that and just given us the top lines. And it's a little bit strange because uh, we have 3S and 4S, so this is obviously 4 at the top, this is 3 at the bottom. Green lines are with it, the mode on and red lines are with it off. And as you can see at 3S, it is only slightly better with sign mode on, but at 4S, it's significantly worse. Well, if you define that as significantly worse. Um, I was a little bit surprised by that, um, but that's what it is. So does it do something? Yes, it probably isn't very useful for people that are trying to run it high, like most Drone people probably won't be achieving that kind of RPM, so it probably won't affect. So it would have been interesting had we done it with a lower S battery to see if it improved it. But yes, uh, definitely on 3S, it improved slightly the RPM, but at 4S made it worse. If it made it run smoother, like I said before, when I originally turned this on, I thought it made it so much smoother when it had a wildly out of balanced uh, dyno wheel. Uh, but since then I've, I've used a DBA meter and dynoed them multiple times to see if I could tell a difference and I, the dyno, oh, sorry, the dyno, yeah, the dyno and the DB meter, meter can't pick it up and from an annoyance noise, because sometimes it's not just about the volume, it's about the annoyance, I, I couldn't tell anything, but I still kind of believe that it did make it smoother even though I can't reproduce that, so um, yeah, would I use it? Don't know. All right, guys, well, that is my findings on that mode. So I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.